Hey there! Welcome to the channel. Today I'm bringing you a clay mask recipe that you would absolutely love. So stay tuned. Alright, let's get into it. So today I'm going to be doing a clay wash on my hair and I thought I'd share that with you. I'm going to be using three different types of clays. I'm going to be using um, bentonite clay, Russell clay and kaolin clay. So let's talk about these clays. Russell clay or gussel clay has a high mineral content and a high negative charge and is able to draw out impurities and toxins from our hair and skin. It is a very clarifying and detoxifying clay that deeply cleanses your hair without stripping it of all its oils. Bentonite clay has similar qualities. It is an absorbent type of clay that is able to remove positively charged toxins from our hair and skin. It is the more popular type of clay that is used for such recipes. Kaolin clay aka china clay or white clay on the other hand is able to remove negatively charged toxins from our hair and skin and it is the cheapest of all three. So I'm going to mix all three clays together and then go in with a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar also for its cleansing properties and also to level the pH of the final product. I'm also going to go in with a spoonful of aloe vera juice mostly for its moisturizing properties because I'm not going to be adding any oil to the mixture. You can do that if you want but I prefer to keep that for my deep condition so I go in with the aloe vera instead. After that you're going to go in with some water and then mix everything together into a fine paste. Now you want to use warm water or at least room temperature water because the warmer it is the easier it is for you to mix your clay. If your water is cold then the clay is just going to keep clumping and it would be harder for you to mix into a paste. By the way, this is a recipe that I learned from one of my favorite YouTubers ever. Her name is Green Beauty, that's the name of her channel. And I always say if you have natural hair and you don't know who she is, then you're really missing out, like she's really good. So I learned this from her and a bunch of other things really and then I just tweaked it to suit my hair needs. So I'm going to leave a link to her channel in the description box and you can check that out. So now I'm just going to go in with a few drops of tea tree oil just because I like how soothing it feels on my scalp and on my hair and also for its cleansing abilities as well. Then after that I'm just going to mix everything and apply to my hair. And oh I hope you're subscribed. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, give the video a thumbs up and don't forget to turn on your notifications so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now let's apply this, okay? I'm going to transfer the mix into an applicator bottle because it's a lot easier to apply this onto my hair through the nozzle of the bottle than to apply it to my hair from the bowl. So I'm just going to do that right now. And then after that, I'm going to put it in my hair and you can see what it does to my hair. Okay, so take note that this is a cleanser. So after this process, you do not need a shampoo. Now, I just rinsed out my pre-poo from the night before and now I'm going to do this clay wash. You want to first make sure you're putting it on your scalp and then massaging it in. So it coats your scalp first before you go onto your hair because you're trying to clarify your scalp first of all. Can you guys see that definition? Like, this is my hair. <laughs> this is like 4Z hair. But the clay kind of weighs down on your strands and then it weighs them down. So they look pretty stretched, I would say. Yeah, so you just want to go ahead and apply that onto your scalp and then onto your entire hair. You want to take your time to do this. If your hair gets dry at some point, you go ahead and spray it with some water first and then you continue to apply the clay. And the clay is going to get hard, so you make sure you apply it as quickly as possible. Just look at that definition. If only you could stay like that forever. <laughs> Anyways, you can put on a shower cap or you can just leave it to dry in your hair. That is if you have much more buildup that you would like to get rid of. And if you have some product left, hey, just put it on your face. 20 minutes later. And after rinsing it all out, we're back to kinky 4C hair <laughs> with 
all the shrinkage it can get but as you can see my hair is squeaky clean I don't need to shampoo all I need to do is deep condition so yes this is a cleanser and it could easily replace your shampoo it is all natural and no harm could come from using it except you don't want to use it every single week because it's like high level cleansing and clarifying and detoxifying so you want to you know slow down <laughs> Clearly, I like this. My hair, it feels clean, but it feels like I need to go in with a deep conditioner. Some people just do this and it's okay for them to just leave it as is. But with these kinks we've got going on here, that's not an option, like it's not. So far my hair is clean, I'm okay because I'm going to deep condition anyway. What I was looking for was the cleansing. This is not something I'm doing for the first time today, it's something. I've done over and over again and I find that this works for me. Like, comment, share, go ahead and hit the subscribe button and click on the notification bell so you get notified whenever I post another video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Bye.